Hello and welcome to another update video about uh, Polygon Matic. Polygon continues to drop further as we talked about it yesterday when Matic yesterday dropped below that 38.5 cent level. That was a key support level. As it broke below that, it made further downside likely. And um, yeah, I think we are looking now at um, support somewhere here in this yellow support box. This is the box that we've had on the chart, uh, well, since I think since July, August, really. So it still is relevant because this wave two here was apparently never really finished. Initially, we thought it could have been finished here. We had a substantial price increase since then. So, you know, there was a possibility for profit taking and also for um, for entering down here. There wasn't long area. Here was a long area, yeah. Um, but it still did not substantially follow through. Came down a lot. I believe um, that a lot of those possible bullish patterns probably would have worked out and would have followed through had FTX not happened. But we will never find out um, because FTX did happen, right? So the target for this move to the downside would be somewhere in the region between 47 and 60 cents. Um, so rather in the lower end of this support box. And there are two possibilities how we can get there. They don't really make a great difference in the short term. Just want to show you the possible wave count. The first possibility is to see the entire move to the upside here as a larger wave one, all of it. I'm not entirely happy with that. Um, it would mean that this was a very long wave four. I'm not really happy with that, yeah. Um, and then we would come down now in a wave two from here in this massive A, B and C correction. But it's a possibility, it's one way of looking at it. Um, so that's possible. The other possibility, and to be honest, I still like that more actually, is, um, and it, it doesn't really have a great impact on targets, but it would mean that this wave A was actually down here. We're moving up in a B wave here and peaked here around 129. And then this here is a very, very um, choppy diagonal pattern. One, two, and we're coming down in wave three now. There'll be a wave four up and a five down. So it's, it's following the path down. I think we will know that a wave four has started as soon as we break above this trend line. That could happen very soon because we are in the oversold range on the four hour chart. So as soon as we break be, uh, above this descending trend line here of this kind of triangle pattern, um, or you could even call it maybe a wedge, but we don't really have enough touch points for that. So be aware this could break out to the upside soon, but it would not necessarily, well, in my opinion, primarily, I would not expect that this is a bullish breakout. It would purely be a corrective wave pattern to the upside and then a follow through to the downside. That got more likely. It was basically the confirmation for that movement that we talked about before. Uh, as we dropped below 83 and a half cents, we got to a state here with Polygon a few days ago where it was really like, you know, if this, if, if A happens, then B happens, or if C happens, then D happens. So it was really like, you know, you have this support level, if it breaks, we'll go down. If we're going to hold here, then we have a chance to go up. So it was really to that state, very, very messy a situation nobody really likes because it means a lot of uncertainty. At least now we have more clarity in my opinion. Clarity is good, it leads to movement and that is really, really healthy. Um, but yeah, we're following the move down. We can also see that um, on the eight hour chart, we, I mean, we're avoiding here slightly lower low at the moment, but also here we are very close to the oversold range. We look on the daily chart and we're not yet oversold. So there is technically more downside possible. That's also why I think this overall movement to the downside isn't finished yet. It would rather support that view also on the daily, the MACD still pushing down. So yeah, this is sort of my view here about Matic at the moment. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye bye.